What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a male in DD team that also features Unburdened Driftblim and everybody's favorite pseudo legendary, Garchomp. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I said, we got male in DD, Unburdened Driftblim, and Garchomp on today's team. And then we're also rocking out with three heavy meta Pokemon to really bring this team together and make it super, super strong. We got Shen Pao, Urshfu, and Amoongus. Should be a good one. We should be able to rock out with this team and grab some wins for you guys. But first Pokemon for today's team is going to be the male Indeedee with the Psychic Surge and the Life Orb as its item. It's got Protect, it's got Skill Swap, it has Psy Shock, and it also has Dazzling Gleam. And a good thing about Skill Swap, I believe, is say I go into Indeedee, I set the Psychic Surge, and somebody brings out, say, Rillaboom and sets the grassy terrain and takes off my second terrain. I can then go into a skill swap that turn, and once I change the, uh, like, Drift Flame's ability, or an ally Pokemon's ability, the second terrain will pop up right away instantly, which is really, really cool. I can have a lot of terrain control with this Pokemon. Second Pokemon on today's team is going to be Drift Flame. Drift Flame's got Unburdened and the Psychic Seeds as its item, so paired up with Ndidi, the Psychic Seeds will boost, Unburdened will boost its speed, and we'll get cooking from there. This thing has Shadow Ball, Tailwind for Speed Control, Icy Wind for a bit more Speed Control, and then it's got will o -Wisp to burn some physical attackers. In our third slot, we got the one and only Shen Pao with Swords of Ruin and the Focus Sash as item. It's got Protect, it's got Icy Wind, which you do not see too often, and then Icicle Crash and Crunch. In our fourth slot, we got the one and only Garchomp with the Steel Terror type. And the reason I say it's Terror type is because I feel as Garchomp is a lot more viable in this meta with Steel Terror type. Considering Fairy is so big, especially with Fluttermane, Steel Terror type is just so big for him. It's got Rough Skin and a Clear Amulet as its item, Rock Protect, EQ, Rock Slide, and Iron Head. In our fifth slot, we got Water Urshfu, perfect Pokemon to pair up with Shen Pao. This thing has Unseen Fist with Safety Goggles, Rock and Detect, Taunt, Close Combats, and Surging Strikes. In our final slot, we got the one and only Amoongus with Regenerator and the Citrus Berry, Rockin' Spore, Rage Powder, Palm Puff, and instead of Protect, it's got Leaf Storm to do some big time damage. Guys, you wanna rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Driftlim and NDD Regulation D team. First match on its way for today's video, and we're going up against a top tier meta squad. They got Rillaboom to take terrain from us. They also are rocking out with Arcanine, they got Zapdos, and then they're rocking out with Shen Pao, Urshfu, just like us, alongside with Fluttermane. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? Do I really want to bring in Indeedee Driftloom? Probably not. I feel as they can take the terrain real easily with Rillaboom, so I'd rather go into a Pokemon maybe like Urshifu, Shen Pao. But again, then they have Intimidate, which is a little bit of a problem. Always a problem. I could go into Garchomp. I really like Garchomp. Garchomp has moves that are going to be super effective onto the Flutter main, onto the Shen Pao, onto the Arcanine. So I'm thinking of just leading maybe Sh Shen Pao Garchomp. But again, if you intimidate me here, it'd be rough. It'd be rough. I could go Drift Blim. And then maybe like Garchomp. And then potentially Hard Chop into Indeedee. Hmm. What is my play? I do not know what I want to do here. I really do not know what I want to do. I kind of just want to go here. And then bring Indeedee in the back end. Yeah, that's gonna be my play. So I'm gonna go Urshifu turn one. I'm gonna bring Indeedee and then I'm gonna bring Shen Pao. I like that the best. I definitely like that the best. I am scared of the Fluttermane. Fluttermane's gonna be a problem, so I have to save a nice lovely Terra for either Urshifu or Shen Pao, just so I can get after that Fluttermane. Do some big time damage onto that. This one's gonna be tough. One. This one is definitely gonna be tough, but if we can play our cards right, I feel as we can definitely win this battle, especially with Drift one. They got a lot of physical attackers, so if I can just start throwing burns onto Pokemon, it could be really good for us. So I see them probably leading Rillaboom, for the most part, right? Probably. Which I kind of hope now, because our lead, we can swap into Ndidi and just stop fake outs. So let's see. No, it's going to be these two. We could have just led Ndidi. We could have just led Ndidi. They're going to bring out Shen Pao. Um, probably want to terrestrialize you, right? Into normal? And just set up a tailwind for the squad. <clears throat> do I leave Urshfu on the field here? Or do I swap it to Ndidi? I think I'm gonna swap it to Ndidi. Get the terrain cook cooking because chances are we go. Oh, you end up withdrawing. 
You end up with trolling. Shen Pao, you go in the robe and you just hard read me like that? That actually works out fine. Actually works out fine. So they wants to set the terrain, but I'm actually coming out here and I'm setting my terrain. That's beautiful. We'll, we'll take that all day. And we are terrestrializing Driftbloom too. So I, I like that. I like that. So that's big time. We get a nice little terrain control. Their Shen Pao is faster. That's why they swap first. That works out lovely for us. That works out lovely. We get the Psychic Seeds popping. We're going to terrestrialize, but if that works out fine. I don't mind terrestrializing this one. So we know they have Shen Pao in the back end. Probably Fluttermane. Fluttermane is just such a problem. I do have Focus Ash. Um, we'll kind of go from there. We'll see how we want to play this one. I really want to save my Terra, but I, I, I really want to get off Tailwind and everything. So Tailwind's going to set up with my lovely Drift Limb. And we'll see how this one plays out. Thunderbolt comes in, so good call for us. Lovely call for us. So we're able to soak up. And from here, I'm going to throw a burn into the real boom slot. And I'm just going to side shock down this uh, this Zapdos. Who's probably going to set up a Tailwind, right? For the most part. For the most part. Like see setting up a Tailwind. I could see a hard swap from Robin, but I don't I don't really mind the hard swap. I don't really mind it. I do have skill swap for later usages, and indeed he's rather fast, especially with the tailwind that we have set up. The drift is gonna go first here. I'm gonna burn whoever they want to send out here. Or whoever's in that slot. And if Robin stays in here, I'm hoping it's Robin. We can just get off the burn. I want to see a nice lovely terror come out. Who are you terrestrializing? Probably Robin, right? Yeah, Robin's gonna come. Don't be a fire terror. Okay, steel terror. I'm, I'm, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. So they go steel terror. Probably thinking that my drift has an air move. And we're starting to burn on you. We're just burning. We're simply burning you. You physical attack over your half in your physical attack set. The so big time burn starting us off here with Robin. Indeed, he's gonna be able to drop a nice lovely side shock here. How much damage are you doing? You got life form, and you're in the train. Some, that's a nice chunk of damage on the Zapdos. Zapdos, chances are, setting up a Tailwind of its own. And now it's just going to start Thunder Wave me. Okay. I mean, that's fine. A little bit of Paralyze action. And what are you going for, Rilbu? That's the real question. What do you got cooking? You're going to U-turn out. So since you are burned, we're able to soak that up. Um, and who are you going to go into? Probably your fourth one. I don't see you going back into Shen Pao, right? I really, I really do not see you going back into Shen Pao. Guess we'll see. Guess we'll see. Shen Pao will be fashion and then Indeedy. Indeedy might be fashion zap this paralyzed. I'm not too sure. Let's see who they end up cooking here. Let me flutter me. So this Pokemon, a little bit of problem. We can't get hit by Shadow Ball. We do have Shadow Ball. They don't have Terror type, which is huge. And I think we might just want to double down into that Shadow Ball. I could protect. I could honestly protect. But I think we double down. We got we gotta start doing some work on that thing. Shadow Ball is gonna fly here. How much damage is this gonna do? It's gonna do about half. Mm. Really wish we did do more because Dazzle Beam's gonna be cooking. It's gonna pick up KO. So we do outspeed, which is huge. We do have Talon for another turn, and it's after setting one up. No, it's gonna roost. It's going to roost though. So it ends up roosting. Um mm. Who's my player? We gotta go into Urshfu, especially with this Talon. Especially with Tailwind, we can just Surgeon Strikes into that slot. And I think... I think we just start Icy Winding these guys down this turn. So I'm going to go Icy Wind, and I am going to go into Surgeon Strikes. And the reason I'm going to go into Surgeon Strikes in this slot is because if Fluttermane protects, we can still KO, but I think they swap in the Wilbon. I really do think they end up swapping in the Wilbon. I mean, which is fine by me. At this point, we get off some Icy Winds, we'll slow them down a little bit. And Fluttermane protects. That's exactly why I brought in Urshu. Exactly why Jeans brought in Urshu. So, from here, we're probably going to take a nice chunk of Thunderbolt here, but as long as we get rid of this Fluttermane, I really like that. So, certain Strikes hits cooking. We are going to take you out, and I just see a Thunderbolt popping all day. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Thunderbolt coming out here. Can you eat up a Thunderbolt? That's the real question. You could go for a Thunder Wave, which we dodge. That's huge. That is huge. So Tailwind's gone. I think Driftblim is still one of the faster Pokemon with Unburdened. So I'm going to try to pop another Tailwind. You can't fake me out, which we love. 
You simply cannot fake me out. And I get to go for a what's going up against you. Actually, do I just attack the... Uh... I'm gonna go for Tailwind. I definitely want speed for later. I could close combat and just finish you off. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. This match is actually gonna be so close. They still got Shen Pao. Do I not worry about the roll boom? Nah, we're gonna we're gonna go after roll boom here. Don't fake me out. Oh no, I forgot you can fake me out. Mm. Tailwind gets cooking. You're thunderbolt me. I should have just detected it. I should have detected that turn 1000 percent I flinch. You want for thunderbolt into me? Can you eat this? Probably not, right? Yeah, no shot. We should have just attacked it. That was that was dumb by me. I might have just threw that match. I might have just threw that match. I might have just threw that match. We still got the real boom burned. I was gonna say it can't fake me out because we have psychic terrain, but I totally forgot it just comes in there and just changes the terrain. I didn't even notice it. Might have just threw the match, but I still got Shen Pao. They got Shen Pao of their own. Um from here, we're just gonna go Shadow Ball. Try to do some damage onto that, and I guess I'll just Icicle Crash left to get rid of this thing. And it ends up withdrawing, so I'm gonna Icicle Crash. That's actually. I deal with that. Try to some damage on the Shen Pao. Might need that. Might need that. So Shadow Ball's gonna get cooking onto this thing. I love how Dripple moves the Shadow Ball. Does some nice damage. We don't get a special defense drop. It's still gonna go. A nice little Icicle Crash on the Shen Pao. And Robin's going to U turn. Okay, okay. I see ya, I feel ya. Do I protect and burn the Shen Pao? Potentially, right? Potentially, we gotta burn the Shen Pao. Ah, oh, this is tough. This is tough. This is so tough. Because we're in such a weird spot. But I'm gonna go for the burn on Shen Pao. I am just gonna protect mine. And we'll go for there. So they have Roll Boom in the back and they can fake me out again later. I'm hoping they don't swap into that. They might just protect or even swap in the Roll Boom onto the Zapdos slot. The reason I don't want to sw want them to swap in the Roll Boom this turn is because I'm protecting my Shen Pao. And they're just going to fake it out next turn. Yeah, but I really, really, yeah, I really blew her chances. I really blew her chance by not protecting uh, my Earth for that turn. It would have been such a big protect. And it was a simple play too. It was so simple. I just didn't notice the, tr the terrain change for some reason. So our protect ends up coming out from Shen Pao. Mm, nice play. Nice play. Um, I think I gotta go for a double protect with Shen Pao. My, like my only way. The chances are they might just double down on my Shen Pao. I'll get back a little bit of HP. Um, I'm gonna go for a nice lovely double protect. Try to pull that off. It'd be pretty lovely. And burn is chipping. Burn be chipping. So I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball into the real boom. I'm gonna go for double protect here. And we'll see if we can land it. This could be a big time land. We'll see if we can land this. A little bit of landing action. We end up landing it. We love it. We love it. Big time double protect. Big Gets gonna come in that side. I'm hoping you're double down in the Shen Pao. You're seriously hoping you're. Shadow Ball's gonna be cooking. We'll chip up some more damage on the roof. Lovely. Lovely. Special defense drop, too. The ISO Crash is coming into our Shen Pao so We love that. We really like that. We really like that. So we're fighting here. We're out here fighting. We're out here fighting. Um. Huh. So we do have the special defense drop over onto Robin. Another Shadow Ball might be able to KO. And the real question is, do we burn Shen Pao? Or do we Shadow Ball here? I think burning Shen Pao is going to be massive. So I'm going to do that, and I think I'm just going to crunch and get rid of Robin. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So he ends up withdrawing Robin. So we're still going to get off some crunch damage here. Let's fake out for later. And we're gonna land this burn. Okay, yeah, we fight. We are fighting. We are fighting. So we get off a big time burn on Shen Pao. 
Crunch is gonna come through here. We do outspeed their Pokemon, and that's a big time damage. And Rocky Helmet's gonna hurt me. Come on, man. I still crash and come in here. How much damage? Man? Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. We here. We here. Came to play. I came to play. I have came to play. So from here, I'm just gonna crunch the Zapdos slot. Just in case he wants to swap into Rillaboom over there. And my Pokemon already outspeed, so we don't need speed. I'm just gonna start targeting down Shen Pao. Right? I think that's my play. And we're just gonna crunch the Zapdos slot. Shadow Ball's gonna come in here. It's gonna do about six and a half damage. And Iso Crash can fly into Drifton. No crits allowed. Cool. Drifton's soaking pretty well. Crunch should come out here and finish off you. We got a battle. We got a battle. Rocky Helm's doing damage. We don't like the Robum's forced to come back out here. Um, are they gonna fake out my Drifloom and just read the protect? Probably, right? I think we have to make a read here. I think we have to make a big time read that they do not fake out Shen Pao. I do believe we have to make this read. I do believe we have to make this read right here. They're both burned. We don't have protect on you. I am just gonna go after you, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna double down on Robin. I do not believe they fake out Shen Pao. Cool. Big time read for jeans. Big time read for jeans. Cause now I get off this crunch and I finish you off. And chances are Shen Pao goes after Drifton. And now we have eight burn Shen Pao. Come on, man. I'm here. I'm here. And can you eat this up, Drifton? Can you eat this up? I'm in love with you. I'm in love. Yo, come on, man. Come on, man. If we win this match, come on, man. We play this one great at the end. I made a mistake. I made a big time mistake by not protecting the Urshifu earlier. But playing this way, whoo, I'm feeling it. What should we go for? Iso Crash or Crunch? Probably more so Crunch. We have a chance to lower defense and its accuracy is higher. So we're going to Shadow Ball here. We'll do about six damage. And they got Burn Chip in. We got Crunch Chip in here. Getting off some nice damage. Let's go. Let's go. And I can simply just protect this turn. I mean, I outspeed him. I do not have to protect. But I actually, no, I have to attack because the terrain's going to be HP. I was going to say, Burn can just chip him up and kill him. But yeah, we're fine. That Burn was big time. The read of the swap was big time on the uh, Rillaboom. The, the not protecting Shen Pao this turn and predicting the f uh, fake out to go in the Drip one was actually probably the biggest turn out there. We had to make that read. So now I'm just going to crunch. We should outspeed. We should be able to finish this one off. And actually, he's outspeeding me now. I guess it was a speed tie this whole time. So Crunch comes out here. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. What a comeback in match number one. Solid first match. Really, really good first match. We made a bad play, but we came back with Drift Blim and Shen Pao making some good plays. What a way to get this video started. Great first match from us. We made one bad play almost through that match. But your boy is here. I am here. Making some good plays, winning match number one. But we're hopping into our second match, going up against a Gargonackle team who I haven't really seen too much in Regulation D. Great stall Pokemon. They also have Tornado, they have Garchomp just like us, Ursaluna and Cresselia, which is a great combo, and then Golden Go in their final slot. Who should I bring? I'm thinking of bringing Garchomp here. I like Garchomp. I don't know why. I just love Garchomp, so I might just bring it. <laughs> but um, I could go Drift Plum in D. It's actually a pretty solid lead here. And I am going to end up doing that. Triplin and Didi is going to come out here. They have no way of changing the terrain. So we can just lock those two in the lead. In the back end, do we just go Shen Pao Urshfu again? Probably your best bet. No Garchomp here. That's cool with me. That's cool with me. I really like this. Uh, these four right here. This main core. Especially when they have no way of changing terrain. We can just set the terrain turn one. Get cooking with that. Set up the Tailwind. Throw some burns around. All that good stuff. And then just have Shen Pao Urshfu in the back end to clean up a lot of the mess. But lovely, yo. I'm so happy that we won that first match. Because I did throw it. I did throw it by not, by not protecting that Urshifu there. It was like the simplest fake out run. But I was I don't not know why. I just did not see terrain change. But I even said I was like, oh, he can't fake me out because we have second terrain. I did not see the terrain change. Well, we end up going into these two, and I think I'm just gonna throw a burn on the guard If They want to set up Tailwind. They can set up Tailwind. It's nothing crazy. I'm not too worried about it. So I'm just gonna burn the guard chomp. And from here. We shall go into a lovely Psy Shock. I'd rather Psy Shock into Tornadus. 
instead of just dazzling leap across the board. Sideshock will get a great boost from the second terrain with the life orb to stab. It's gonna be good for us. Plus, Garchomp could potentially Terrestrialize here. As long as I can still burn the Garchomp, I'll be happy. I know some of them do rock fire type. <coughs> the Will O Wisp lands, yo. Driftling's been awesome today. These first two battles, just landing Will O Wisp is so. It's so good. It's because it, it sucks when you miss one, it kind of moves a lot. But Rockside is going to get cooking, and look at that, we eat up all day. No flinchies allowed? Bleak when storms can come out here. Wow, dude, that damage. Oh, that's some ugly damage. Indeedy flinches. Of course it flinches. Of course. So, of course, Indeedy flinches, we get pretty much no value out of that. Hopefully, we can set up a tail one here. It would be gorgeous. And we will go into a... Protect? No, we'll, we'll just attack. So I would rather get some tail one turns with my Pokemon. But your just going to run speed. Which is lovely. The Driftlin outspeeds. We will actually get off one turn with Psy Shock because they did not set up Tailwind. And how much damage is this going to do? Oh, baked. Is that Free Sash? Was that Free Sash? With that. I don't deserve that. I don't deserve that. You should be dead. You should be a dead Pokemon. You just got a free Focus Sash. I simply do not deserve that. I don't deserve that. Drift Blim should still be alive, but it's all good. We set up a Tailwind. We got a burn on Garchomp. I. Love where we're sitting. I love that where we're at. I like where we're at. So chances are, chances are that Tornado is just gonna set up a Tailwind. Here, so it's just gonna set up a Tailwind from here. We are just gonna go probably Surgeon Strikes into Urshfu instead of Ice Move. Actually, no, he's not gonna Terrasalize. There's no shot he Terrasalize. Actually, I think we just go Icy Wind here. Icy Wind do some damage, and then we'll Surgeon Strikes into Garchomp. It's fine by me. Because again, chances are he sets up a tailwind with Tornadus before it dies out. Kind of hoping it doesn't, but most likely it does. Of course, Tornadus survives on one. That would have been so big if we got rid of Tornadus, because then tailwind would have been, or speed would have been hours for the rest of the game, pretty much. And especially with Shen Pao and Earth food, they can really just start cleaning up everything. So I don't know if they're going to Terrasize Garchomp. I wouldn't personally because it's burned in that Pokemon. Usually when, when somebody burns one of my Pokemon, I kind of view it as dead. I'm like, oh, that thing's not doing anything crazy. So I don't even, I, I just kind of have it in there. But yeah, they're just going to not set up a Tailwind. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I'm confused by the call, but I love it. And we're going to be able to pick up a nice big double kill. Nice big double kill. We also have icy. Oh, don't you got rough skin, man? You rough skin to me. Imagine if I had a rough skin and rocky helmet. Oh, dude. Oh my lord. I cry. I cry. I would cry. <laughs> That'd be so much damage. Garchomp is going to die out. Beautiful. If we get rid of him. Back in Pokemon. Who do I see you have? You self terror type. Do we self terror type? Yeah, we self terror type too. They're gonna bring out Cress. Cress, who's probably gonna be terror type. Oh, I don't know. Who are you gonna terror type here? Who are you gonna terror type? Because I could terror you into flying, which would that do me any good? Would flying do me any good? I feel as terrasalizing in the water would be a bit better. So I'm gonna crunch it in the slot. And I'm gonna terror it and I'm gonna go search strikes in that slot. So they're gonna terrasalize one of them. The other the other side is gonna take a big chunk of damage. I can see a protect coming out from potentially Gargonacle, which I kinda hope, because I'm certain strikes in, into that. I can hit through that. But I can see a Protect coming out from Gargonacle and a Trickroom potentially setting up from Crest. But we'll see how this one plays out here. We're going to boost our Shen Pao into Water Type. Well, not Shen Pao. Urshfield into Water Type. Giving us that lovely boost. That lovely damage boost onto our Water Boost. So we're hoping no no Terror comes out from Gargi. But we'll see. I don't know who you're going to Terrasize. It's 50-50. You can go either way with this one. Maybe Crest for Trickroom. You no, know, it's going to be Gargi into Ghost. You Ghosty? You are a ghosty boy. You are a ghosty boy. So Ghost comes out here, which means Crest is going to take a nice shot of, of uh, Crunch here. The Crunch comes out here, and I wish I would have doubled down. Because now you do get off Trick Room. Now you do simply get off Trick Room. Surgeon Strike's going to fly. How much damage is it going to do? It's going to do it about half, a little bit more than half. But they're definitely setting up Trick Room, which is such a big play because you're going to purify and salt my Urshifu. Salt here, that's what I would say. And that's real ugly because now you can just protect, and this does too much damage to me. 
This is a bit too much damage to water and steel types. The trick room's out and about. Um, that's so ugly. <laughs> that's so much damage <laughs> for no reason. Um, from here, I'm gonna crunch you. I'm gonna try to get rid of Gargonacle first and foremost. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna actually double down to Gargonacle. I want the thing going. I want it going. He ends up just recovering. How dare you? How dare you? Let's go for a recover. Hopefully, we can still KO it. That's some big time. Oh, you're back up full HP. Actually, I think we still KO it. That's just lovely. It's actually huge. That's actually a big mistake that you didn't take out my Rishfinger. Big mistake. Because now we double down and we KO you. We KO, Garden. And that, that might have just gave us a win. Because now Shen Pao can, I think, 1v1 press. Actually, can it? Mm. I don't know. I don't know if we can. So Urshifu is going to drop out here, which is awful because of the, uh, the Salt Cure. But we end up getting rid of the Garden, which is massive. Massive. This is going to be close. Shen Pao, are you still... Shen Pao might still be at full HP. Might still be at full HP. The Salt Cure is going to take us out. Yeah, that is insane. The, the amount of damage it does to Water and Steel types is insane. It was doing like 45 to the 50 range to Urshifu. That's that's absurd. That's absurd. But I'm hoping I still have my sash, right? I don't think I took damage. Oh, I didn't. Cool. And one crunch. Should be able to KO you. Let's see how this one plays out. Maybe I should have protected this turn, but I didn't want to protect them. They just lunar bust him, but they just canceled the battle. So them in instead of taking out our Pokemon, healing up, really lost in the match. But we're two and zero, winning record. Final match coming at you guys. We are just thriving today with this team. 2-0, killing it, hopping into our third and final, and uh, going up against some tough Pokemon. Fluttermane, Urshifu, Shen Pao, Heatran, Iron Hands, Amoongus. Nothing we haven't seen before, but this team is top tier. But a good thing is they do not have any terrain control, which we absolutely love. No terrain control means we go in DD Drift Bloom every single time. So I'm going to go in DD Drift Bloom. I definitely want to get out Garchomp here. I haven't used it in today's video. I'm not going to use Amoongus, but I'm going to bring Shen Pao instead of... Uh, Instead of Urshfu, right? Do I want to do that? Probably. Yeah, I like it more. We're going to be super effective onto the uh, the Amoongus. We can also do some big time damage onto everybody else. So, yeah. And any any boost is Garchomp's damage as well. So, I'm cool with that. So, we're going to end up bringing in Garchomp here. I really want to use it today. But the first two battles, it was like, eh. We, we were better off going Urshifu and Shen Pao. It just worked out a little bit better. But since we're 2-0, you guys know we like to have fun here in the third and final match. So I'm going to bring Garchomp, potentially to last slice him. It does have Iron Head with the Steel Terror, which could come up very, very clutch up against Fluttermanes or even their own Shen Pao. But they're going to end up leading. Fluttermane and Urshifu. Which, um... I mean, I can freely set up Tailwind. I could burn Urshfu, but the problem with burning Urshfu is it usually just goes into Surging Strikes. So the crit just negates all the burn. All the burn uh, damage that it takes off. So, Protosynthesis is going to come out here from Fluttermane. It's going to boost the speed. I think we just go Tailwind and we just go Psy Shock here. Yes. Maybe? Yes. <laughs> we want that, so I'm just gonna tailwind. Actually, uh, I'm gonna terror you. I could see a shadow ball coming in Drifblum. The terroring Drifblum has been a name to game today. I've been loving it. I've been loving Thrasilize and Drifblum. It's weak to ghost type. It's weak to ghost type, so being able to dodge a shadow ball would be big. Because normally it dodges. This is actually perfect for these two right here. Normally it dodges uh, fighty moves, so. Shen Pal's not coming in here with close combat. And he ends up just going into it. Mean, kind of hurts my soul. Wouldn't like that, but I do get off tail, and I should be able to just rip into Urshfu here. All right, Urshfu's dead. He should be dead. Psy Shock, gone. Phew. It's huge. It's huge. You're gone. You're gone. But get rid of you. I have speed up with Tailwind. They cannot first turn priority either. This lead's awesome. I love this lead. So underrated. Iron Hands come out here. You cannot fake me out, little boy. You simply cannot fake me out, and at this point, I am just going to double down into into Fluttermane. I want that thing going. I want Fluttermane. I want you out of here. Fluttermane. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go into that. I'm gonna half your HP. And Side Shock should be able to do the other half, especially because we got that special defense drop. Yep. See you later, Fluttermane. Let's go. 
I'm thriving out here. I'm killing it today. I'm killing it today. Come on, man. Get rid of you. What are you gonna do? Dream punch me? You can take out my Drift Bloom at this point. I'm gonna bring out Garchomp. Yeah, now I'm gonna bring out Garchomp. Like going through those lovely ground moves. I'm coming after you. I'm not playing around. I still do have Terra, which chances are they'll use it onto Iron Hands here. And I'll bring out the Chomp. I will bring out the Chomp. The Chomp comes out here. We got a little bit of speed going. Um, let's see who they bring out. It's real question. I might just try to slash Chompy. Use your final Pokemon. We got rid of Earth Fruit. It's going to be a Moongus. Ah! Uh, I mean, Psy Shock is going to be lovely in that, so I'll Psy Shock. No. I will Psy Shock you. And do we just save our Terra? I should protect Garchomp here. I'll protect Garchomp. We'll, we'll see what they want to do. They end up going no terrors. A little odd. Didi might just be able to rip into Moongus and KO it. This stab super effective into the terrain. Yeah, okay, dude. This was, this was cake. This was cakey cake. This was birthday cake. Easy. Light work. Perfect record for us. Killing today. Dream Punch gonna fly into Didi. And from here, I'm just gonna protect Shen Pao and drop an EQ. Probably my best bet. Probably my best bet. Do I have to Terrasalize anybody? Yeah, I'll Terrasalize the Shen Pao, just in case. I do not want to throw this match. I really don't want to throw this match. I do not want to throw a perfect record. I feel like I haven't gotten a perfect record in a little bit, so this one feels good. So, oh wait, I already, I already Terrasalize. What am I thinking? Use it on my Drifty. So I'm just going to protect. I'm going to EQ. They'll probably Terrasalize. No, they're not. Did they Terrasalize already? I don't, I, they did not. You, you, you must just have like a terrible terror type that you don't want to change into. I mean, Grass, I have Shen Pao, and if you stay in that, you're playing. So that's big time damage. We'll be able to sell this one later. And Drain Punch comes into the uh, Shen Pao slide anyway. So that's going to be game. That is going to be game, set, and match. Tailwind is gone. We still outspeed. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We'll go Icicle Crash. And on top of that, I will go EQ. Next, next, next move that hits this Pokemon wins. But battle was canceled, 3-0, a perfect record under our belt. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Not one, not two, but three wins in today's video. Absolutely love this team and absolutely love Ndidi and Drifloom as a lead. They just pair up so perfectly together, and especially with all the physical attackers, Drifloom really gets thriving with will o -Wisp. throwing burns left and right onto the physical attackers. But we had other Pokemon in the back end, like Shen Pao Earth, who do really well for us. We didn't use Amoongus, and we only used Garchomp in the final battle, but still, I really do like this team. If you guys want to rent this team, it's top right hand corner. You guys know the deal. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.